Have you ever wondered how to graft a mango tree using tires for faster growth and more fruits? Well, today is your lucky day. We're going to unravel the unique art of grafting mango trees using tires, a technique that not only accelerates the growth of your tree, but also boosts its fruit production. This isn't a new trick, but rather a clever adaptation of an ancient agricultural practice. Grafting has been a cornerstone in horticulture for centuries. It's a method that allows us to combine the best traits of different plants into a single one. In our case, we're merging the durability of a tire with the robustness of a mango tree. Imagine having a mango tree in your backyard that grows faster and yields more fruit than the typical tree. A tree that's fortified by the strength of a tire. Intrigued yet? Stay tuned as we break down this intriguing process into easy to follow steps. Before we dive into the specifics of grafting a mango tree using tires, it's crucial to understand what grafting is. Grafting, in the simplest terms, is a horticultural technique that involves joining two plants together so they grow as one. This method is not just a whim of gardeners, it has a purpose. When you graft a plant, you're essentially combining the best traits of two different plants. You could take a mango tree that produces incredibly sweet fruits but has a weak root system and graft it onto a hardy, disease-resistant rootstock. The result? A mango tree that bears delicious fruits and is also robust and resilient. The benefits of grafting extend beyond this. Notably, it allows for the production of identical fruit across generations, maintains the desirable characteristics of a particular variety, and in some cases, it can even make the tree start bearing fruit earlier. Now, there are different techniques of grafting, each suited for different types of plants and situations. There's bud grafting, whip and tongue grafting, cleft grafting, and more. But our focus today is not on these conventional methods. Instead, we'll be exploring a unique method that involves the use of tires. Yes, you heard it right. Tires. It's an innovative technique that's been gaining traction for its effectiveness in promoting faster growth and abundant fruit production. In essence, Grafting is a powerful tool in the hands of a gardener. It's a blend of art and science, requiring both skill and understanding. When done correctly, it can transform your garden, turning a simple mango tree into a prolific fruit-bearing wonder. Now that we have a good grasp of what grafting is, it's time to explore our unique technique. In the next scenes, we'll delve into the materials needed and walk you through the step-by-step -step process of grafting a mango tree using tires. So. Stay tuned and let's embark on this exciting journey together. To successfully graft a mango tree using tires, you'll need a few specific materials. First off, you'll need a healthy mature mango tree and a mango tree sapling. These are the two main actors in our grafting play. Next up, a tire. Yes, you heard it right, an ordinary car tire. This will serve as a support structure for the grafting process, helping to maintain the necessary pressure and moisture. You'll also need a sharp grafting knife to make precise cuts on both trees. A pair of protective gloves is a must-have to ensure your safety during the process. And to keep our graft union secure and moist, wax or grafting tape comes into play. Then we'll need a rooting hormone to stimulate root growth on the grafted sapling. Lastly, a watering can and some good quality soil will be needed to maintain the health of our newly grafted tree. With these materials at hand, we are ready to start grafting. Now that we have our materials ready, it's time to get our hands dirty. Step 1. Preparation First, you'll need to select a healthy, mature mango tree to serve as the rootstock. This tree should be sturdy and disease-free. At the same time, choose a scion, or a young shoot from a mango tree that produces high-quality fruit. This scion should be about the same diameter as the rootstock and have at least two to three buds. Step 2. Tire Placement The tire acts as a protective barrier and growth stimulator. Place the tire around the base of the rootstock tree, making sure it fits snugly. The tire should be clean and free of any debris that could harm the tree. Step 3. Making the cut Using a sharp, sterile grafting knife, make a clean, sloping cut about one-third of the way down the rootstock. This cut should be around 6 to 8 inches long and it's crucial to make it in one smooth motion to avoid damaging the tree. Step 4. Matching the scion. Next, you'll need to cut the scion in a way that matches the cut on the rootstock. This is the tricky part. 
The scions cut should mirror that of the rootstock so that they can align perfectly. Remember, precision is key here. Step five, joining the two. Now comes the moment of truth, grafting. Position the scion against the rootstock, aligning the cut surfaces as closely as possible. They should fit together like pieces of a puzzle. Step six, securing the graft. To hold the scion in place, wrap the graft area with grafting tape or plastic wrap, ensuring it's tight but not too constricting. The goal is to create a greenhouse effect to encourage growth. Step seven, promoting growth. Next, you'll want to encourage the growth of your new graft. To do this, apply a rooting hormone to the graft area. This will stimulate new growth and help the scion and rootstock fuse together. Step eight, tire filling. Now fill the tire with a mixture of fertile soil and compost. The soil should be damp but not waterlogged. This tire environment will act as a mini greenhouse, promoting faster growth and offering protection. Step nine, waiting game. The final step is the hardest, waiting. Grafting is not an overnight process. It can take anywhere from two to three months for the graft to take hold. During this time, it's essential to keep the soil within the tire moist and protect the graft from extreme weather conditions. With these steps, you can successfully graft your mango tree using tires. But remember, aftercare is just as important. You've successfully grafted your mango tree. But what comes next? Well, the real journey begins now, as aftercare and maintenance of your grafted mango tree is crucial for its health and growth. Firstly, remember to water the tree regularly. This is especially important in the first few weeks after grafting as the tree needs to establish its new root system. However, be careful not to overwater as this can lead to root rot. Providing the right nutrients is also key. Use a balanced, slow-release fertilizer to support the tree's growth and fruit production. Do this once every three to four months during the growing season. Lastly, keep an eye on the graft. If you notice any new shoots growing from below the graft union, remove them promptly. These suckers can drain energy away from the grafted branch, hindering its growth. With proper care and maintenance, your grafted mango tree will bear plentiful fruits in no time. Let's recap what we've learned today. We started our journey into the world of grafting with an understanding of its basics, exploring the reasons why this unique technique is so beneficial. We then dove into the specifics of grafting mango trees using tires, a method that not only boosts root growth, but also results in faster and more fruitful yields. We outlined the tools and materials you'll need, such as healthy mango trees, tires, and grafting tape, and guided you through the step-by-step -step process of grafting. We emphasized the importance of precision in aligning the cuts, securing the graft, and ensuring a good seal to promote successful union. We didn't stop there though. We also discussed the aftercare and maintenance of your newly grafted mango trees, reminding you that good care leads to great results. Remember, patience and precision are key in grafting. Happy grafting, and we look forward to seeing your bountiful mango trees.